In this lecture, I'm going to give you a list of things that all bloggers need. In specific, five things that all bloggers are going to need. The first thing that you're going to need is thick skin. Why? Well, once your blog is visible and available and accessible to other people, then you're going to get criticism from either your blog visitors, some of your readers, possibly competitors, and others. Now, some of that criticism will be negative and some will be positive. Other criticism will be constructive. Now, I don't want you to dismiss any criticism that you may get because it can be helpful to you in the long run and help you to improve your blog. So, you want to have an open mind and put into action some of the feedback that you get from others because it's only going to help you. Another thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a network or a team of support around you. Now that could come from other bloggers in your niche or your particular blog topic. If you're talking about fashion, then maybe you want to surround yourselves or get network with other fashion bloggers. Or if you're talking about makeup and beauty, maybe you want to kind of collaborate with other makeup and beauty bloggers. You can also network with your blog readers, your family, your friends, partners, any kind of relationships that you establish with other businesses and companies, advertisers, even those whom you may employ temporarily or on an ongoing basis. This is going to help you because they're also going to give you feedback and be honest with you and tell you things that you can do just to help you to be a better blogger. You're also going to need stats and analytics. This is very, very important because you want to be able to know how people are accessing and finding your website. You want to know what keywords they use, what are your most popular posts, the length that each person stays on your site, the age groups of your blog readers, and this is going to help you to see how you can improve, what posts are doing the best, and what are more popular, and maybe you can make adjustments in your writing and decide to write those write top, more topics on those posts that have given you the most traffic because this is an indication of what people are more interested in. So those stats are only going to benefit you and help you to track your performance of your blog and a lot of other factors that's going to help you to get more traffic and help you to improve your blog overall. Another thing that you're going to need you're going to need followers. How do you get followers though? That's kind of tricky. Well, an easy way to be able to do this is to include those follow me buttons on the home page of your blog. Make sure you have a contact page. Have you ever visited a website or a blog and they have no contact page? It almost feels so informal as if you don't even know who the person is. Is there an actual person that owns the blog or is it some just generated blog? People could possibly assume that if you don't have a contact page or um, some kind of page where they can get in touch with you. So make sure you have that on your page visibly so that they can see it, possibly on your home page. You're also going to need an RSS feed so that people can access your content and they might not necessarily have to visit your post, your blog to do that. They can read your RSS feed and still keep up to date with your blog. Social media channels, you're going to need all of that shown and displayed on your website so that people can follow you elsewhere. If they like the content that you're sharing there, then they're more likely to subscribe to your other social media channels. You're going to need a community around your blog. The reason why this is so important 
is because it's going to keep your visitors stimulated. They may even possibly stay on your blog longer. It'll give them a reliable place to chat with others. It will add value to your blog and increase your traffic. You can do this and accomplish this with a form, a chat board, an online discussion page, or possibly a Facebook page that surrounds your blog. A newsletter is also something that every blogger needs. Now initially I didn't have a newsletter or I kind of held back from getting a newsletter in the beginning and that was a big mistake. Because if someone visits your blog, you want to give them the option to be able to sign up for a free newsletter so that they can constantly be reminded of your site, be informed about any new updates that you pass along. It also can help you to connect with your fans or readers, build up your subscriber list, get you more visitors, and keeps them coming back. So make sure that you get a newsletter and you can search on Google and get one for free. And these are five things that all bloggers need.